Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're taking you live inside the stadium to watch the final warm-ups as both Minnesota and Penn State are on the field and set to do battle for the governor's victory bell. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off folks from the eight yard line he's out to the 30 what a collision the Nittany Lions offense basically predicated on what this kid can do thing I love about this guy Brad is is just the intangibles that he brings to the table we've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. It, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Hands it to the back. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Bring him down for a loss. Ferguson awaits the snap. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike 55, Mike 55, e, 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 e. Takes the ball inside. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From their own 33-yard line, second down. It's the tailback. Big opening. And he's tackled at the 41. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time. But did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Bates again, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. 
That makes it second and ten. ten. with a solid punt right here. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Good outside run there. to the 40 and it's caught and he's taken down right around midfield this guy is one of the most reliable receivers around they needed a big play on third down and he got it for them they'll wrestle him down in the backfield i think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game so often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a, a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Nearly intercepted. So we're looking at another third down here. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Penn State's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it 35. Backs got it on the quick throw. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. A couple of yards that time on the screen. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's a short kick. 
You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 46. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. That brings up second and nine. We've played one quarter. No score here. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Throwing right. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. On the ground with a tailback. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. hit immediately. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Tackled for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That brings him second and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. Dives for extra yardage. That's a gain of four on That makes us third and goal. vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much and he knew he could get it himself. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11 play 70 yard drive and they put up seven points. Ferguson looks ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. And he's tackled at the 25. Pick up 
momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Steps up in the pocket. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Jones makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 47-yard line. First down. He fights forward to around midfield. if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. Check, check. Spider. Check, Spider. Check, it looks like they're going to go after this punt. <laughs> They'll bring him down at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State is up by a touchdown. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 30. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Easy, easy. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. The Golden Gophers will use their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's at the 30. Quick throw out to the receiver. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gets it. He's in space. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's on the run. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. Fires 
quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. will be tied with the extra point. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We take you now to Fort Worth. We've got a tight one going on here. Tulsa leading the way, 24-20. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. To return. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 37-yard line. The Nittany Lions call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. It's the running back who picks it up. They bring him down in the backfield. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Gets out to about the 31. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Set 
sets up a screen. Tailback's got it, and he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. him hard at the 42-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. First and 10, ball on the 42. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often, they get labeled as just great athletes, and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Here's another third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Catches it, and that's all. Little. Gains about four yards there. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 44. just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. That makes it second and ten. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 14. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. Got some open field. Nice play to set up first and goal. He's 
taken down just outside the goal line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 37. That makes it first and 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He makes his way out to about the 25. First down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Williams gains around three yards on the option play. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's into the open field. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Penn State's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Well, that touchdown certainly has made it interesting here early in the fourth quarter because now we've got a football game. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession's going to make a difference. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. Tackle 
made around the 33 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Makes it to the 24. He's got an opening inside the 10. Touchdown, Nifty Lions. And he adds the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He works the right side. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 36 yard line. First down. They'll run it, and they make the stop at the 33. Second and 13, all on the 33. Just under three to go in regulation. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Kelly is back to receive. into the 37. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. He makes his way to about the 38. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Got some open field. He's tackled at the 21. Minnesota is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. 
He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. The Golden Gophers using their third and final timeout. Second and five, ball on the 16. Here's an opening. The five, brought down at the three yard line. Tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Sooners arrive at today's game ranked fifth in the nation. The Sooners, they believe in the adage, pass the lead, run to win. They pass, they lead with the first touchdown of the game. Oklahoma has the edge, 7 0. In other action, off we go to El Paso. And for North Texas, an aerial strike gives them their first score. The mean green are on top. 7-0. Two touchdown ball game right now. 28 to 14 here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Slings it. He's to the 40. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. He lets it fly. Finds the junior. Spikes the ball. From the three-yard line. Second down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Golden Gophers always knew that this kid was going to have a great career. Highly recruited. There's his first touchdown. I'm sure there's going to be many more. And he converts the extra point. He 
he's tackled at the 42 yard line. These offensive coordinators have done a remarkable job. I think it's going to be who blinks first. Well, I think both of them right now feel pretty good about what they're trying to do. The challenge for them is not to change the mojo and the rhythm that they've both been able to create. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 28-21, Penn State. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.